Hello, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Christine. I like to read dark and disturbing things. And you know, I love to get mailbox magic, which is anything you get in the mail that is not a bill. And today I have a couple of horror book box subscription unboxings for you. So let's check them out. <laughs> actually both going to be September book box subscriptions. I have had my nightworms for a while. I already knew the book that was going to be in here. So I just kind of set it aside and I was waiting for this to come from the UK. Ooh, that's shiny. This is actually the nicest box that I've ever gotten from them. Um, I don't know if they changed their box or if the Mail handling people were just a little bit nicer, but usually it comes to me pretty smashed. So I was surprised to find this in such good condition. So while I do know the book that is in Nightworms, I have avoided spoilers for the Abominable Book Club box. So let's start off with Nightworms. And you may have heard me mention that I have had to um, cancel a lot of my book box subscriptions. I will probably still be getting um, a few more in depending on how far out I've paid or how far behind they are, but I think the only one I have kept other than like book of the month and art bark book club, cause you can skip those is Nightworms because it focuses mostly on books. And as you can see, I have a lot of trinkets as much as I love to get them. I need to kind of like chill, chill a little bit. So I've already opened this up. Let's see what we have. Should we start with the book? Let's start with, let's start with the goodies. So uh, this is the September bookmark. We've got some tentacle action on here. It says, be afraid, tengan mucho miedo. Probably said that horribly, but I think that is a good indicator of like, we've got some vampire fangs here and we've got some tentacles. So this is a little spoiler as to the book that we were going to be getting. And then we always get a little goodie package which usually just has some stickers. Oh, this month we have some hot cocoa and this is horchata. And I think, I wanna say I got this one before and it wasn't my favorite, but I'll try it again because I could be wrong. Um, but this is a company called Moonstruck from Portland, Oregon. That's a fun little thing. And we have a magnet here. with our little fella here, just reading. Ooh, we have a signed book plate and that looks like it says, I can yes there. We have a sticker that is just celebrating my favorite season of all, which I like to celebrate year round and that is spooky season. And we have another book plate I'm not sure who that is there. So, all right, let's dig into the books. The first book I am pulling out is Wild Spaces by S.L. Coney. And here is where we're getting all of our tentacle action. I have no idea what this is about. This looks like a novella. We are at 117 pages. So this says it's from the perspective of an 11 year old boy, which I already like. I like coming of age horror or things from the perspective of children. And I don't know if that's just because I am basically like a child stuck in this old person's body, but I love reading from the perspective of children more so than teenagers. Um, it's just such a innocent time, I feel like, and I just really enjoy it. So this says he's living um, with his parents and his dog when all of a sudden his grandfather, who's been estranged for many years, just shows up. And after that, things start changing and he's feeling like a changing within himself. So some kind of monstrous change within himself. And I'm guessing tentacles are involved. So this sounds like it's gonna be cosmic weirdness and it's a shorty, so I hope to get to it very soon. I really like the color palette there. And onto the book that I did know. Of course, I found this out right after I made this my book of the club 
Book of the Month Club pick for last month. And this is Isabel Cañas's Vampires del Norte. And I've already talked about this book, so I'm sure you've heard lots about it. I have not read it yet. I've already um, taken my second copy and put it up for my giveaway to celebrate 500 subscribers. So thank you for everyone that's commented in that uh, in that video. I really appreciate it, all the well wishes and just positivity. I really love it. And I'm excited to see who will win a copy of this book. All right, on to Abominable Book Club box. Now, this is a horror book subscription box that comes from the UK. And I do absolutely love getting this box, but I have had to cancel this one just because of life changes that are going on for me right now. Um, hopefully I can resubscribe in the future. But I was also getting some duplicates uh, along with Nightworms, which makes sense because they're trying to get to us like the most anticipated new release horror books out there. And I'm trying to be a little more grown up and responsible. <laughs> it's not fun, but um, I'm, gonna, I'm going to miss this box and I do hope that I could resub in the future. Anyway, I might be getting one more. I'm not sure because this is, I have no idea. I might have paid for one more box. Hopefully, that would be nice. All right, so the full guts. The full guts is because you can get like a more pared down box um, that just has the books and no goodies. But one of my favorite parts, and I think most people will say this, is getting the surprise secondhand book that comes from here. Okay, first on top, I see, I think some candy. Tasty Mates Peaches and Cream Flavor. I think these are gummies, gummy candy. Yes, it says right there. Gourmet Gummy Sweets. I definitely have a sweet tooth and I know my son will love these too. So I will be sharing these with him. Oh no, I see the book and I've already read it. Okay, sorry, I'm getting ahead. Let's open the chomper bag. I have quite a backlog of warm, tasty beverages from this box that I have been working my way through. Ooh. I have not gotten these teas before. I am very much in my tea mode at night lately. Um, I'm fighting something off, but I got these two. And I got one in wild apple and cinnamon flavored, which I like that kind, I, that in general, and English breakfast. So I think both of these are going to be a win. And I just like found out, <laughs> you guys are probably gonna laugh at me, but I found out like a tea hack that I don't know, this is stupid, but I found that you can get like flavored whipped creams lately. So I was at Trader Joe's and I got a coconut uh, flavored whipped cream. And then I went to Target and they had a, a maple one and a pumpkin spice one. And instead of trying to add creamer to my tea, I've just been putting a little squirt squirt on top and it is freaking delicious. It Maybe this is not, Maybe this is common knowledge, or maybe you're just like, oh, way to take uh, a nice, healthy drink and make it very Americanized and unhealthy. Whatever, I don't care. It It's delicious. If you haven't tried it, try it. I'm going to save this for last. And the first book I see, I've actually already read, and that is Ronald Malfi's They Lurk. Um, this is a short story collection. I believe there was five short stories in here. And uh, I remember not really caring for the first two, but liking the last three. So majority wins, I guess. There is one in here that I really liked. Um, actually, I'm just gonna link down below because I did already talk about this book if you wanna know what my thoughts are. But that is Ronald Malfi's They Lurk. Ooh, okay, I am excited. I'm excited for this. So this is... This redeems it because I have been wanting to read this book. I've been hearing everyone talk about this book. And this is Chuck Tingle's Camp Damascus. And I got the UK cover, which, or maybe I just never looked that closely at the cover. I'll, I'll put the other cover here so you can compare. But I have not read any Chuck Tingle. Um, if you look up this author, he has some of the most hilarious sounding um, titles 
of extreme horror <laughs> out there. Uh, they all sound pretty sexual in nature, but they sound freaking hilarious. So I, I don't think this is in that like grouping of his book of his works, but I'm going to check this out. And then eventually I will check out some of those other crazy sounding books, but Camp Damascus. So what it says is Camp Damascus is basically a camp that is set in Montana wilderness that is meant to be a, a gay conversion camp. So, uh, yeah, this is like real life horror. Um, basically if you think that your child, I would assume that you're sending your children there, maybe gay or bi or anything other than straight laced, they will send you to this camp and they will fix you, which is fucked up, but actually art mimicking real life, right? Oh, but it says this story isn't about that. It's a story about Rose Darling, a God-fearing young lady who can't stop puking up flies. That, that could be troublesome. It's about her parents who ignore her visions of an eerie woman with sagging pale skin who watches from the woods. It's about desires deep inside Rose that don't seem to make any sense and her waking nightmares that are beginning to feel more like memories. And maybe, just maybe, it's a little bit about Camp Damascus after all. This sounds so interesting and I have heard good things from those who have read it. So I am excited to get to this one. I also see there's some kind of card in here. Oh my God. Oh, I'm having regrets. I'm having regrets having to cancel this box. We have a patch and Freddy Krueger, who's like, he's my fave. All right. Um, bringing humor to horror and just total cheesiness. And then we have Edward Scissorhands. This is freaking awesome. I, I love this. Oh, it's hurting my heart that I won't be getting this box anymore. <laughs> and then we have a signed book plate that says love is real Chuck Tingle. We have, this is Ronald Malfi's book plate. Oh, I like when they do this. Also another signed book plate like that. So you could choose which one to put in there. Oh, and there's lots of stuff. Holy cow. We have our Abominable Book Club uh, bookmark and an, oh my God. Oh, I love this. Okay, and then on this says, the box, you opened it, we came. Now you must come with us and taste our pleasure. What is this on the bottom? <laughs> Um, it's a letter from the author and it just starts off with greetings buckaroos and uh, I won't read it all to you but I will do this and you can pause it and take a look and we have one from Ronald Malfi can't wait to read this buckaroo man this box has been a win for me even though I had already read one of the books Let's see, let's see what's inside here. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so excited. It's a Richard Lehman book. All right, so I finally read my Richard Lehman book that I had gotten, I don't know, maybe last year, earlier this year, um, called Midnight's Lair, and I freaking love that book. Um, I know you're not supposed to, but I did. This one's called In the Dark. And we have this cover here. It's kind of chunky. 500 pages. I'm sorry, this was, this was an amazing box for me. And this just kind of sealed it. <laughs> I am so excited to read more Richard Lehman, which I almost feel like I should be embarrassed to say that, like it's a guilty pleasure, but man, it was, it was a fun ride, that book I read. All right, this one says, not much happens in Donnerville, at least not in the public library. Then the new librarian, Jane Carey, receives an envelope containing a $50 bill and a note instructing her to look homeward, Angel. Mystified, Jane pulls Thomas Wolfe's novel of that title off the shelf and finds a second envelope. This holds a $100 bill and a clue to another payoff. Like the first, it's signed M.O.G., Master of Games. 
Suddenly Jane is hooked. This is one game she must play to the end. The game requires more and more of Jane's strength and, ingen <laughs> and ingenuity. It forces her more than once to defend her life. It pushes her in actions that she knows are crazy, immoral, criminal. And when she tries to quit, the master of games has other ideas. This sounds fun. I love like game show or I know this isn't a game show, but um, I just love this kind of trope in horror. So this, I'm excited. I am excited. Oh, I'm having major regrets, but I am excited to read this. So this has been my September Abominable Book Club unboxing as well as my Nightworms unboxing. And probably I will be getting a new um, Nightworms package any minute, any moment, any day, because we are already in October. Thank you so much for opening this with me. And as always, I love your comments. Um, I love interacting with you guys in the comments. So leave a comment down below. If you don't have anything to say, but you just want to let me know, hey, I was here, I'm watching. How about you leave me a little bat emoji? And um, I hope you guys all have a great spooky month and stay spooky.